What you guys got another video here for you on how to choose the correct PC parts for your build. So the first thing you need to do is get the budget of your build. Choose a budget that suits your pocket and then stick to it. Next up, you need to choose what you want to use your computer for, whether it's a gaming, whether it's just light use or whether it's some sort of productivity or something like that. Then you need to choose whether you want RGB or non RGB. And then you can choose whether you want AMD or Intel. Once you get all those things picked, you should be pretty much good to go. And one last thing you want to take a look at is the monitor that you're choosing. If you're buying a super budget system and you're buying a low end graphics card, try to stick to 1080p. That way you'll get the best FPS for the money that you're spending. If you're looking at 4K monitors and 2K monitors, this will eat into your FPS and it won't be an enjoyable experience. So try to stick for 1080p gaming, especially at that lower end systems that you're building. Anyway, let's get on with picking the parts. Let's head over to the website and try to pick some of these parts and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose our computer parts uh, correctly. So first off, we're using Newegg. I live in the UK, which means uh, Newegg is an American based company and I'm unfamiliar to it because obviously I don't use it. So I wanted to do this because it makes me show you how it is for a new user using a new website that they've never used before. So the first thing I can see here, we got the search box up here to search for our computer components. And you can see it's rotating through there and showing you some of the search terms you can actually use to search for on here. You can also go through the selection process here and uh, break down your selection, which makes it easier to find things, which is probably what I'm going to do. This area here is interesting and uh, you need to take close attention uh, to this. Sold by Newegg. This means basically it is sold directly from Newegg and it's not a third party seller. That might be useful for people that don't want to buy from third party sellers. In stock, you can toggle this on as well. And uh, it's a simple case of doing this and you can toggle these on. On sale is another thing there you can put on free shipping and direct from the manufacturer or shipped by Newegg. You can check it out here and check mark these. I'm going to leave these off for this video, but you generally get the idea of how you use those. So now we've got ready to use our site. What we need to do is find a budget and that's the most important part. So we'll start off with, say, for instance, a budget of a thousand dollars, which isn't a lot. So we need to make sure we use our money carefully next up we need to choose what we want to use the computer for let's just say we want to do some light gaming on this computer so we need a gpu whether you want rgb or not that's entirely up to you you can choose whether you want rgb or no rgb and whether you want amd or intel i'll explain that a little bit later on okay so let's uh take a look at the gpu first because that's the most expensive component that you're going to be buying alongside the cpu now we're on a really tight budget here of $1,000. So what you want to do is come down here and come down to the price section, open this up and you can choose how much you want to spend on your GPU. Now, obviously you don't want to be spending $709 on a GPU because that's not going to leave any money left for the rest of your components. And this was what I see people do quite a lot. So what you need to do is spend at least 30 to 40% of your budget on a GPU. No more than 50% because otherwise you're not going to leave any money in the kitty for all the rest of your components. So let's go ahead and put three to $400 here. You need to apply this. And this leaves you hardly any choices to choose from. And that's because of the price market is through the roof right now. So we're restricted to a certain type of GPU here, which is the uh, 1650, uh, GTX 1650. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this one here and we'll go ahead and choose this option. We'll say no thanks here. And that's it. It's in the basket. Let's move on to the next expensive part, which is your CPU. When it comes to your CPU, you're going to need to choose between AMD and Intel. That's entirely up to you which you choose. Intel has got a lot of sockets. So if we choose Intel here, you can see there's quite a few sockets to choose from. We're going to try and keep this a pretty new or modern PC. Uh, so we'll go for a newer socket here. Uh, but if you want to go back here and go AMD, same thing with AMD. It's really AM4, uh, which we're going to go for here. 
uh, and you can see we have some options available now if you're looking for a apu with which basically has a gpu built into your cpu then the 5600g is a really good option in this choice for 259 dollars we already have a gpu so i'm going to go for a cpu on its own now 5600x is 300 dollars let's go back to a uh, intel and see whether we can get something cheaper so i'm going to apply this there we go and now we can see we've got some options available now we've got i3s and i5s let's see if they've got something here that we can use this one here looks pretty good it's an i5 11 series so it's 11 generation and it's a 6 600 kf so we'll go for this one here that's a pretty good price so i'm going to click on this one here and it's a 1200 socket so it's an lga 1200 socket so we're going to add this to our cart and now we need to go and get a motherboard for our cpu so let's go ahead and do that so when we're selecting uh, motherboards here we go to the motherboard section and we can either choose amd or intel so we're going to choose intel because that's our cpu and we can drop this down even lower here to our selection by clicking on the lga 1200 because that's what we've got so there we go so we've now got this reduced down to just the lga 1200 and we can now choose our motherboard now we can't spend a lot of money on our board here because obviously we're on a tight budget so we're going to go for something cheap and we'll go for this now i know uh, that cpu is a, a kf but we'll just go with this board here um, it's not got no real fancy features on here but we're on a tight budget and we can tweak this a little later on so i'm going to go with that board so next up we need to get some uh, memory so let's go ahead and get some memory same thing again we're going to go for ddr4 we're going to apply this and what we need to do here is you can actually go even further down here and choose the speed if you want to i don't like doing this i want to see what options available for us and how, how much we can get for our money so that's the reason why i'm not doing that option there so if you want rgb you can do i'm just going to go for this one here and it's 3600 speed which is good enough for what we need here on this budget build 16 gigs of ram X, xmp 2.0 that's perfect so let's go ahead and add this in that's done now let's go ahead and get our case now we need to be careful with our case because obviously we don't want to get a super large case because obviously uh, it's a micro ATX motherboard. Now, some people do buy bigger cases and then that motherboard just gets lost in that build and it just looks horrible. So I'm going to restrict the case size to a micro ATX. And there we go. So you can put that inside here and we can now come down and look for a micro ATX uh, case here. So this here is white. So if we wanted to go down the white route, we can do. This looks pretty good as well. That's black. It's got a mesh front for good airflow. And as you can see inside here, got a nice basement there. And I think that's going to be perfect. So let's go ahead and add this in. Now you can spend more time on this. You can see you've got other options available here. If you want RGB and stuff like that, it's entirely up to you. I'm just giving you an idea of how you can do it. Now we need to choose a power supply to power all our components. So let's go ahead and get this done. So first off, what do we want to do here? Well, we can go by brand or we can go by wattage. And some people get confused. Some people will end up spending way too much and going for an 800 watt or a 1000 watt. You don't need that many watts for a build of this caliber. So what I'm going to do here is look for the brand or manufacturer and Seasonic makes some of the best power supplies out there. So that's what I'm going to take a look for at the moment. And we're at $800 here. So we've got to be careful. We're creeping up a little bit in price. And straight away, I can see a real good deal here for Seasonic Core GX 500 watt, which is going to be plenty gold certified and also fully modular. That is an absolute stonking deal. So let's go ahead and put that in our basket. So we've got that in the basket now and let's move on to some storage 
Now I want to try to get some storage here, and I know it's a mechanical drive, but I do want to try to get a two terabyte drive for some games and to free up some space. And I'll try to get a, some sort of NVMe drive. I'm not sure if we can, but we can try and have a look. So I'm going to go down here, and I can already see this one here, fifty-four dollars. Let's go ahead and add this in, and it is a decent speed, and that should be ample. Next, we need to get our drive for our Windows operating system. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and search for our drive. And what we're looking for is an NVMe drive. So we got one here, Gen 3. This should be good enough. $79, pretty pricey, but it is a Samsung uh, 970 Evo Plus. And it's on sale, so I'm going to go ahead and add this in. So no thanks. And while we're at it, let's try and add this Cooler Master in here. I see this for 46 bucks. Let's go and add that in as well for cooling the actual CPU down. And you can change this to non-RGB if you wish. And let's take a look at the results. So we're near, we have a total price of $1,022, which isn't too bad. So we've got our motherboard inside here this is a micro atx motherboard b560 uh, uh, lga 1200 socket and we've got our gtx 1650 which is going to be good enough for this sort of budget and we'll come down to our power supply we have the seasonic uh, core gx 500 watt 80 plus gold certified uh, full modular power supply and that is a cheap price also we've got our cpu here which is a pretty decent cpu and this is the i5 11 uh, 11th gen 600 kf processor here and that's a pretty good price too moving on down to where our operating system is going to live is going to be on this samsung 970 evo plus which is a gen 3 and this is pretty good enough for what most people are going to need it's only a 500 gig but it'll be good enough for Windows, and we have that external, or that internal storage, I should say, which has uh, got our 2 terabyte drive in here, which is going to be for all your games and other stuff. So we've got our, also our case here, which is a micro ATX case, which fits that motherboard perfectly, which means there's not going to be that gaping gap at the bottom, which I see quite a lot, where people buy a little cheapest, tiniest motherboard possible in a big, massive case. And it just looks all out of whack. So we can see here, we've got 16 gigs of RAM, two 8 gig sticks. So 3600 speed, Intel uh, XMP 2.0. So perfect for what we got, got here. And the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB edition. You can get the non-RGB edition if you wish. Just a little bit over $1,000, but pretty good uh, for that sort of price point. So we're well within our budget and we've got some good branded components here apart from the case i've never heard of this company before but you can see how easy it is to put together a system now granted this doesn't look all color coded and really sort of lovely but that comes at a bit more of a premium you have to start spending a bit more if you want uh, braided cables and if you want a uh, color matching ram with rgb on the motherboard and stuff like that that is a different uh, type of selection of um you know parts which is going to cost you a little bit more money anyway that is about it that's how you can choose the correct pc parts for your build now when choosing your build just make sure you stay within your budget don't go uh, crazy over with say for instance your gpu and spend 60 percent of your money on your gpu because you end up with a low-end cpu a low-end power supply and, and things like that you just got to keep a nice balance so 30 to 40 percent on your gpu um, and that really gives you a, a really sort of good sort of money left for the rest of your components so you get good quality parts and you're not going to end up with you know a really good gpu and a low-end uh, power supply and a low-end cpu which is going to bottleneck the system and it's not going to work as well as you think it is so follow those guidelines you should be fine anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group, I appreciate the support and your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again 
for another video real soon. Bye for now.